All right, folks, in the Pisgah National Forest, it is soaking wet. It rained all last night. I only got here last night, but it was pouring all night. It rained a bunch today. The wood is fucking soaked. It's like a fucking rainforest in here. This is a national forest campsite. Caught two nice trout. I only kept one of them. I should have caught. I should have kept both of them. Um, I kind of felt bad. I was looking for brook trout, not rainbow trout. So when I caught the second rainbow, I didn't really feel like keeping them. But uh, I just want to kind of document. I'm gonna try. This, this is a lot of work with one fucking guy. Um, I'm gonna try to get a fire going. Everything is fucking soaked. Um, I want to try to get a fire, and I want to try to cook that trout over the fire with some uh, wild chanterelles that I found as well. Um, let's see if this is possible. Mr. Sven. Again, this is the Sven saw. This is probably one of the best products I've ever bought out back, I mean, uh, backpacking wise, outdoors wise. Look at this guy, a little handheld saw. Breaks down real quick, real easy. I've had this for years. I've only replaced the blade once. I've had it for probably 10 years maybe. Boom, boom, boom. Good to go, light, fits in a backpack. Dude, it's fucking solid, love this thing. All right, let's split some of this shit. Trying to get little pieces like that, so because it's fucking soaked out here, but in here it's still dry. So that's like your only chance. You're not gonna have a fucking chance if you try to just start this bark. No fucking chance. Even though like with the little branches, you don't have a chance. Just tie your shoes. Shut the fucking hand off. All right, back in the van. Yeah. Protrus of solitude. <laughs> the Chromad. Goes by many names. What I was gonna try to do is I was gonna try to cook. I got some chanterelles that I found the other day. I was gonna try to cook those up with a sweet potato. Probably in uh, this guy over the fire. And I was also got that trout filet. That trout filet. Looking tasty. Um, I'll keep my white cloth. Put all the white girls drink. All right, throw some garlic into some butter. Some more garlic. I like garlic. Maybe a little olive oil. See, like I said, I had one of these explode while I was driving up these. Sketchy mountain roads. Olive oil all over my floor of the van. A little bit. Saw some of them dude on YouTube do that, so why not? Garlic salt. Ooh, that's probably too much. Alright. Alright, I got this guy all cleaned out. Pretty much. Um, I'm gonna dump. It's hard to do with the camera up. Let that sit. I'm gonna chop those potatoes up. Let that marinate a little bit. Woo -hoo -hoo! 
That's a good cooking. All right, looks like the prep work's done. Uh, I'm gonna get the fire started and we'll get this bitch cooking. Here's a fire tip. I don't know how many people know this. This is a fucking great tip. Me and my buddy Layden discovered one time all wasted backpacking. Um, a 12 pack. You can flutter the fuck out of the fire. It works really fucking well. Yeah, I'm a bitch for drinking White Claw. I get it. I just wanted a, a tasty low carb beverage. That doesn't make me any less of a bitch. But watch this. Okay, well, shit, my bur shit's burned down a little bit. I would have to get on my knees and fucking blow on that shit. Nope. Couple of good flutters in there. Get that bitch raging. Boom. I'm telling you, dude, that's a pretty good, pretty good secret. 12 pack works perfect because you probably got 12 pack on you. If you're camping, you should be drinking. If you're not, I don't know what's wrong with you, but this is wet shit's not burning that great. Instead of kneeling down every fucking 30 seconds. Fucking game changer. Alright, got the fire going. That's that pussy white claw bullshit. Give me a man's beer. I'm out here alone, soon to be dark, in bear country, out in the wilderness, at Coors Banquet, tell me everything's gonna be alright, pat me on the head, <laughs> make me feel warm inside, <laughs> thanks buddy. It's a banquet in my mouth, everyone's invited, we got uh, butter and seasoned up sweet potatoes. We got wild chanterelles that I found the other day. With some meat and meat grease all over. Woo wee! Threw some garlic on there. They were sauteed in butter. A couple like a couple days ago, five days ago maybe, to preserve them. And now they're about to get recooked up with some garlic. Got that trout in here. We're gonna throw that on the cast iron. But let's cook these potatoes first. No idea if you can see this at all, but mix all these shrooms in there. I have no idea if sweet potatoes and shrooms are good together. I, I didn't like read this online or anything. Just guessing. <laughs> That's cooking. That shit's oh god damn that looks good. <laughs> Eating good out here in the wilderness. <laughs> big, old, big old shroom, big old shroom, couple potatoes. Oh, that's pretty fucking good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, the central oils and the sweet potatoes work well. Dude, fall off the bone. Skin just comes with it. Why not? Dude, it's just good. <laughs> it's just real good. Hell yes. Living good in North Carolina. 